All right, we're joined now by Masterpiece, someone who had a very, very close bond with Nipsey. Uh, thanks for taking the time before you head into the service, man. Yeah. yeah. Yes. yes. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of emotions today as we honor his life and legacy. How are you feeling? Nah, this was a, a real soldier, somebody that light is going to spread on the world forever. He mm. touched so many people come from hip-hop. I mean, he should have got this while he was alive with all the work that he's done. Uh, but, you know, this love and this peace that's being spread after his life mm. is, is incredible because he's our angel now right. you know from the streets he's a guy that that put it all risked it all and uh i mean the world is gonna know nipsey hustle from ever uh every kid that get into the hip-hop business that want to go back and help their community you know this guy was about giving back mm. um i taught him a lot of the independence and you know uh chasing your dreams this there was a guy that just got it right off the top and he right. wasn't afraid to say you know p how i do this how i do that so i know he's smiling down on us right now and uh his legacy i mean it's big i mean he's in the staples center coming, right. coming from the streets i mean amongst michael jackson mm. to the people who told when you go out you want to go out like this right you know in in so many communities across the world supporting this and these kids are going to know, you know, his life, the good and the bad, the mm -hmm. do's and the don'ts. And he's going to save so many other lives. We, we lost one to save millions. That's, that's what I feel like today is about. Uh, Nipsey, countless times, P, had referred to you as yeah. being the blueprint of how to do what he did. Take music and expand upon that and use it for good and, bec and to become an entrepreneur. You, you guys were working on so many projects together. You had a yeah. very intimate relationship as far as family and, and, yeah. and working together. Elaborate on that for us because we just got to, be before he died, we just got to peek into that. And it, we're, we're, we're so fascinated by your, yours and his relationship. Yeah, well, you know what, me and him, you know, even though I live where I live now, in his community, always this is where we made a lot of the music at. So yeah. I always come back to the community because of him. And uh, his spirit was so strong, man, to like, I have to be here doing this. Like, he wanted to be here. A connection. He, he had a connection, and uh, he just was a giving person, a loving person to say that, you know what, we got to show the world what the ghetto was about mm. and how we can put business back in there and we did it in the music right. we was working on a record uh it's called street millionaires and it'll be on i got the hook up to the movie soundtrack okay. so it's it's just crazy man it's still you know you like is this really happening but yeah. it's real it's surreal but the love i mean mm. and, and see how strong even from his mother to his family you know people know that this man ain't die in vain. Like the world is gonna right. know Nipsey Hussle forever. We're so, realizing his impact more yes. and more since he died, well, and you know we know what's crazy because his music done went up two thousand right. percent. I mean they they playing him on every radio now. A lot of these songs we've been made, and this is what he wanted to see. I'm just so I'm just so happy that the world has recognized him. Yeah, you know because this is this is this is a, a good brother. Talk to me about that project you guys last worked on. Uh, uh, it sounds like we're actually going to be able to hear it eventually. Yeah. What did it mean to work with Nipsey, someone who idolized you? You know what? I get in the boot with Nipsey. We made so many records because when something come to our head, we, it just, you know, we work with 1500 and we like, you know what? Turn on the, turn on the mic. And, and me and Nipsey just made the magic yeah. happen. And uh, I mean, he's a talented person and, and, uh, he critiqued everything that he did to <laughs> yeah. where it's like, I got to do it this way. I got to do it that way. I was talking to uh, G, the producer, I mean, the engineer that normally engineer all his music. And he said, man, Nipsey had a real plan. He had stuff wrote on the board mm. every day what he was going to do wow. to get to his goals and his dreams. So his this was the guy, board. the vision board, right. this guy was organized. And when we got in the studio, that's how it happened. I mean, we didn't really write. Like it just came to us, like all these songs that you hear that that we created, it just came to us. Wow. And so, you know, being in that environment, living that, the thing that, that, that I was able to do, escape that and get away from it. Mm. And, you know, for him, it's like, man, he had to be there. Right. You had mentioned um, about family. We heard yesterday that there was a very private moment that family yeah. had. Can you let us in on, on, what, on what transpired or any details? You know what? It was a beautiful service. And it was a lot of love, a lot of 
family, uh, friends that was close to the family. And, man, this brother seemed at peace. Mm. You know, it, it seemed like like God really had something, a glow over this guy. So, you know, people are not mourning like that. People are like, you know what? It's time for a new beginning. Yeah. You know, I mean, we watched the gangs come together behind this guy. It's crazy. It is. For peace. Right. You know, Bloods, Crips coming together and uh, walking up Crenshaw, that we never expected to see nothing like that. So that's how much love this man is loved around the world and in, in his own community. Yeah, we were talking about how the LAPD said that they were working with Nipsey to find a way to work together to yeah. combat gang violence. I mean, you yeah. have that, his social contributions to the community and, of yeah. course, his music. How do you hope we'll remember Nipsey and how will, how should we keep his legacy you, alive? You know what? Forget about the past and remember Nipsey as the guy that changed his life, the guy that wanted mm -hmm. more for everybody, and the guy that gave up his life for us to have a better life. So, you know... Man, I, I, I can't do nothing but... Celebrate him. Celebrate him, man. We got to celebrate. This man is... He needs his own second line, right? Yes, yes <laughs> you know, because in New Orleans, we do second lines. Right. And it's like, man. And, and the guy that wasn't afraid to to celebrate other people while, they was, while they're here. Absolutely. Because, you know... You're among them. Yes. Yeah. I mean, this is a guy that if I call on the phone, he there. I mean, we did that song two days before he passed. Like, look, man, let's, let's do this record for the movie soundtrack. Yeah. He like... All right, boss, what we need to do? Yeah. You know, I got the hookup too. Let's get it done. And we just did it. We knocked it out. So, yeah, this, this, is, this, is, this is a real soldier that the world is going to miss, but the world is going to feel the joy yeah. forever. Master P, uh, thank you so much, yeah, first of seriously. all, for, for speaking with us. Secondly, for your contributions mm. to hip-hop and what you've done for music and the community of, of New Orleans as well, and all across music, man. We, we're so honored to have you yeah. here and, to, and for you to share those loving words of, uh, of a Nipsey. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Appreciate you. you. Thank you. Yes.